Hi right, guys. You may have seen, I may have come into attention of the media. Um, I came home yesterday after work. I get a message from a journalist. It's from my news. You know, he wanted to ask me a few questions about my video. Uh, Moody girlfriend, Sydney food run number two. Because Daily Mail has written an article about how dangerous I was, I was and etc etc okay I do not know where to start I can just say that we can take we can take it into a positive way I think you're all aware of what's going on and how the media can betray your image honestly I don't know how I feel, man. Like, at first I thought it was kind of funny. I mean, how could one of my videos be worthy to, you know, make for someone to write an article about? I mean, now look at it. Now it's been it's it's it's, it's, been, it's, it's escalating, and it's getting to a point where it's becoming quite a lot and quite worrisome. I mean, it's not going to stop me from writing. That's one thing. It, out of every negative energy, you can see some positive energy. And that's what I'm seeing at the moment. I'm seeing a lot of positive energy. One of the po positive energy is, you know, I've seen so far is the support that I've had from the community, the riding community. You know, not every motorcyclist is, are with, is with me, but I really want to know what is danger, what is dangerous. I mean, this zone here is a 60 zone. If you look at my speedo, it says 60. You see these cars? They're not going 60. Definitely not going 60. I mean, what the hell? And I'm not going to get fired up over this. I mean, that's probably what the media wants. So, you know, let's think positively. Let's think positively, guys. The positive things that I can see what's ha after what's happened is it seems like a lot of viewers that come to my YouTube page now are uh, people that actually want to see my videos. Here's another example of what riders see when we ride. Using their mobile phone. I'm happy to share the roads with any other user, but when I see a driver using their mobile phone while driving, their eyes aren't even on the road. And you, you can't you can't look at every car, who's on their phone, who's paying attention. So what you gotta do, and this is what I've been told by many, many other riders, is to ride defensively. A good defense is a good offense. Over there, again, another user on their mobile phone. The red car over there. So what do you do? So what do we do? So everyone, everyone that's watching this video, keep your chin up. I know my chin is up. I'm not being, you know, cocky or anything. I'm just, you know, being positive. I don't want this to affect me in any way. I don't want it to affect my relationship or anything because our relationship is really good. You know, next week, I can tell you guys, next week is our eight year anniversary. You know, we've been together for quite some time and it's never been better. It has never been better. I'm telling you now. Ever since I started riding motorcycles, I've been thinking day in and day night about motorcycles learning every aspect I can gaining every experience I can get because we all understand that riding a motorcycle is dangerous it is dangerous we all understand that but to mitigate the to mitigate you want to try to min minimize and mitigate anything as possible so you 
my options are is to pretty much gain experience. Oh fuck. For any new riders out there and new pillions, I hope my video doesn't discourage you to getting a motorcycle or hopping onto the onto hopping onto the back. Because it's it's the experience of a lifetime. Look at this guy. See I don't want to make enemies man. I don't want to make these mobile phone video videos. I really do not want to make enemies. Hate is the least of my concerns. I do not I like any hate at all. I mean, there's a lot of hate comments in my videos. Like, it doesn't really bother me, man. I don't, I'm not affected in any way because look, hate is like drinking poison and expecting your enemy to die. And I've heard that somewhere. If you, if you know who said that, Leave a comment below, man. That that line is so realistic, man. Like it just when you hate someone, it just poisons your mind. Poisons your mind. Poisons your mind so bad and stops you from thinking about other good things. And I just like to, you know, have a formal apology for all the viewers that may have felt offended by my video. I mean. I'm so sorry you watched it. It's not my fault you watched it, but I'm sorry if it offended you. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna stop making videos. These videos are freaking fun to watch. There's so many other motor vloggers out there that are so much, so, so entertaining. Like, I started writing probably because of another motor vlogger. And I really like to pass that torch on again. So if any new riders out there, you know, I encourage you to get on a motorcycle understand it because it's probably one of the hardest things to understand all right I think that concludes everything I'm not sure if I covered everything I, I'm, I don't think I said everything I wanted but I hope you guys get the picture I mean, I'm not I didn't extend intend to be you know boyfriend from hell you know I, I, I didn't mean to play that character my character is just supposed to be a funny guy which some people actually thought it was funny. You know, that, that comes down to another subject. You know, people each to their own, man, seriously, each to their own. And obviously these journalists or whatever, they did not see the, the comedic side of things. So, you know, what can you do? You can't tell them it's supposed to be funny. <laughs> oh man, oh well. To all the people that found it funny, man, like, comment, subscribe, you know, this is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. And yeah, pizza is out. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Pizza not out yet. Levi. Levi. <laughs> Alright, Levi. Me and Levi out. Good sign, Levi is out. Woo. What the fuck? What the fuck? Stop in the middle of the fucking road, man. Oh my god, it'll play it up. That's alright, dude.